Um, welcome everyone. So, in our last video, previous video, we were talking about uh, Chopam, okay, which is what of left. Um, today, we are going to talk about Peng Li Chian, okay, so which is what of right, okay, push, go back, and then push. Okay, so this is what we are going to uh, discuss on today's uh, video. So I will start by demonstrating um, Li Chian and then we will go into the detail. So we start from a uh, part of that. From here you will go to Bao position. Master Peng Li Qian with the internal zoom of Tai Chi. So, this should be enough to protect yourself and to bring your opponents down. So, today we want to look into how you use this in a fight and also um, some pushing hand application with uh, Peng Li Qian. So, we will go with the uh, pushing hand application first. Okay. So, If I'm coming 
something like this. Okay, see, it's resisting that. Then I need to use this balance. Okay, so basically it's a balance thing. So when you go, you come, this is me. Right? So this is how you use in terms of push end. Okay? This is how you use lead. So pearl, lead. Okay, now we will be talking about she. Okay? So if you go with pearl and then he comes, you go with lead. Okay? He's still coming, you can still continue to your attacking position. This is uh, Qi. Okay? Qi position comes from here. This one is counter and then this one is attack. Alright? So the top going into the push hands. Okay? Push hand stands and I'll be initiating the attack. Alright, so I'll go with firm first and then the avoid become an attack. I'm doing low and then he comes here. So this is where I go with G. See? So here this okay. So when his arm is here, then you go with G. Okay? If he managed to avoid this, then you bring him in. And then you go with an. Okay, an can be a push or an attack. Either way. So if you do in a push and manner, this is a push. Okay, if you do in a counter manner, when you push you, you go for an attack. Okay, so this will be how you will be countering using uh, Feng Li Qian. So in terms of how to use Feng Li Qian, in push hands, it's normally like this. So I'll be showing you all the one was in pattern. So I'll be showing you all in a, a, just simple push hands, okay? So we will do free push hands. Not free. Okay. So he will be attacking me and I'll be countering him, right? Okay, 
can, you can just change this attack. Okay, so that is why you bring this attack like this. Okay? So another thing is when he push you. Okay, when he push you with both hands, especially when you use maximum force, then you can easily break his arm. So that's why you do this. Alright? Okay, so this movement is about breaking your opponent's wrist or finger, depends on the contact point. Okay, so if it's coming like this, okay, so you can break like this, and then you can go with G, uh, okay, or if both arms are coming together, then you can also go with G like this. Just straight away go into chi. Also can. Okay, yeah, so depends on your timing though. So if your timing is good, then you can break first and then go forward. Right? But if your timing is not good or, or you are slightly late during your contact point, then you can straight away go into chi. So that's why chi. And then an. Okay? So an you can bring like this that's all okay so you just play around okay this is an okay so this is all an This is blue. Okay. This is cheap. Right? So it depends on how you use in push hands. This is how you do mostly. But when you are talking about hand to hand combat, right? So you will see that this technique uh, you can use like this. Okay? So we look at firm. Even in the video, uh, in the previous video, I've already mentioned firm, how to use. So now we are doing a combination of firm Nichian. So for example, if I'm going for an attack, so this attack coming from here. Okay, this is firm attack. Right? So when I come with firm, this will come counter. So this is good. Okay, you can. Bring like this, bring like this, whichever position that suits you based on his direction. It doesn't mean that you firm like this, you have to read like this, not necessary. So if his direction is over here, you can always change your direction. Okay? Okay. So if, if I'm going with firm, okay, I can also use un. Okay? This is un. Right? When you bring your opponent towards you and then you attack your opponent. So that is the, uh, the concept behind an. So it's not just uh, push like that. Okay, you have to draw him in. Then you bring him on. So when you are using him to fight, this one, this one you will use a lot in all. You see? So this is where you are going to use. When you use, you just use to bring his balance up one, and then you attack him like that. Okay, whenever he's going into a counter motion, okay, one, you can attack him. Okay, you bring him in, and then you attack him. Okay, <coughs> so if you go.
So the pipe will end in D position. You will diffuse your water. Okay? So we are going into a few variations. Okay? So first loop, you can use the fork, and then you can easily. This is one of the methods of how you can uh, bring your opponent down. Right? So if you are going into an attack, try marching into an attack, okay? This is one of the way you bring him down. So this one is also you are combining Yu Pao Chi. This is Yu Pao Chi movement, okay? In Lee. So when he comes, you take in Li, you receive him in Li, and then you turn to Yu Pao Ji. Alright? Okay, now. Alright? So this depends on if you realize he's keep on changing his direction. So you see, he's already locked here. Alright? So here, unless he is willing to uh, move uh, at the cost of his shoulder, or else he won't be able to move, right? So the only way to move is like that. So in that time, you can easily uh, cause a lot of disruption to his body. Okay. So, uh, this is among the variation for Peng Li Qian. So the earlier version was uh, about um, uh, pushing hand variation and then this one is a practical application. So if you have any uh, questions, you can always uh, comment below and ask anything so we can also answer um, the variation uh, quest, your question but uh, you have to understand that uh, we don't do a tutorial in a, our youtube channel we only uh, share knowledge okay so any of our video was never meant for a tutorial it was just meant for sharing so if you have the skill you can use it if you don't have the skill you should not use it okay all right thank you